Hello guys, this video I'm going to go over the reference images I use. So, first thing I'm going to use as my main reference is pretty much a lot of these real life construction vehicles, especially a lot of ones from Caterpillar. I'm going for like a very realistic color scheme with the black and yellow. So maybe a little bit of orange. So like right here, pretty much you can go on to your favorite uh, image search website or YouTube, for example, and just search for like uh, 10 largest and powerful forest harvesters in the world. So this is like a YouTube video. And I, and I just kind of went through the video and I went and I just, uh, you know, in YouTube, you can right click two times and then you can uh, save the picture of the whatever current frame the YouTube video is on. So I just kind of went around here and saw interesting frames and interesting just things I can inspire by like interesting little shapes here and all the kind of things can inspire me here. And then I just kind of, so I just kind of went through that. So you know, uh, in, enter the cockpit, some cockpit ideas, a little screen here, little control sticks. And I'm just kind of going through here, you know, uh, little little details you can add here, uh, cabling details, you know, this little detail right here. So you know, this is how the uh, operator gets in here. So like I'm seeing pictures of the door, for example. You know, really interesting shapes going on here the way the tubes and pipes go here. So I'm just going through a YouTube video and just kind of saving a bunch of pictures in a row and getting reference images that way. So YouTube is a great place for reference images. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of making a, uh, like a near future sci-fi version of this just with, uh, with two legs. I mean, in reality, probably this is more efficient having legs because it's faster. But, you know, we as humans tend to like mechs a lot. We like uh, we like machinery that doesn't just move on wheels, but moves on legs for some reason. So, you know, a lot, a lot of people like to take World War II tanks and add legs to them. So just, you know, adding a leg to a, to a tank, adding legs to a tank or to a construction vehicle just makes it like a hundred times cooler right off the bat. So... You see, I'm getting reference images like here's this little like fire extinguisher here on the side. So just just a lot of nice references, reference images you can use. Nice cockpit design right here. So like the way the tubes go in here. There's just lots of things that I'm looking at, building up that mental library of shapes, form language. All right, then we've got this one. So I think this is a uh, model on CG Trader or Turbo Squid. This is actually a 3D model, but sometimes you want to take pictures of 3D models, save images because they're actually very clean because they were just rendered in the perfect environment right here. So it's kind of perfect uh, white background. So you know, just, just getting inspiration for a lot of interesting things here. I very much like the way the doors and the cockpit are designed in these vehicles. Very clean looking. So try searching on you know CG Trader or Turbo Squid for models and just save the images there because you have a very clean uh, image to use. Not like a photograph which can be very blurry and have lots of like uh, lens distortion and lens flares and things like that. Here you get a perfect render to use as a reference. So this is from ArtStation, the uh, Don Poo Studio. You know, just, just various little shapes here. This is just something that I made that I didn't really save, that I didn't really show in the video yet, just some various experimentation I made, so I decided to save this as well. So sometimes when you're doing quick experiments, quick warm-ups, you can save that as well. I don't, I don't know why I saved this. This is by uh, Dimitri Neron. It's just like a backpack design, but there's something here that I like. Forklift, once again, lots of nice shapes going on here. Also a 3D model. So I think this is also from 
uh, turbo scooter CG trader and so I like that very much like this cabin here and very much this is a very good inspiration for arm and hydraulic design so I'm not going to try to make my model completely realistic. I'm going to take lots of liberties because I'm more concerned about the uh, how it looks as opposed to making sure the functions all well. Because I think that once you get a good look, you can always go back and tweak the mechanics of it as long as you get that you know powerful look that you want. This is from uh, Valorant. I don't know. I just like the, the design of this little of this little drone here. So let's see here. We've got this as well this is by Christoph Luzny I just uh, like the various little shapes here this is by Long K Chen and I'm you know just getting various uh, design ideas here as well This is a very nice reference reference for the cab design and uh, windshield wipers as well. This is a sci-fi generator 3D. Obviously, I'm not making a sci-fi generator, but you know, I'm just lots of little shapes and decals and things that you can reference. So when you're making something, guys, you don't have to just use whatever you're making. So if you're making a mech, you don't have to use only mechs as reference images. You can use anything, including even buildings. Anything that inspires you and gives you inspiration for shapes and designs can be added to your reference collection. Now, sometimes I like to see the uh, the wireframe, like this right here. Maybe you can just save this because you like the color scheme here, this kind of uh, white, gray, orange color scheme. Sci-Fi Military Pack 1. So... Even though my mech will probably not look like this, won't be a military mech, you know, once again, I'm inspired by shapes. Any shape that inspires you can be added to your reference folder. This is by uh, the artist Tai Un Ryu. So obviously this is like a human and it's not a suit, but I do like some shapes used here, for example, that I may want to use. So even if you just see a small part of the image that has things you like, you know, be sure to save it. I very much like this also by Tai Un Ryu. Very much like the chunkiness of this one, like the arms. Um, so this one probably looks way way too sci-fi for what I'm doing. I'm doing something that you know looks like a modern vehicle with a little bit of a sci-fi spin, but the legs here are definitely something I want to consider. All right, and then we've just got uh, biggest bulldozers in the world. You know, I like some of the things here as well. I very much like this cab design, and so all the little details here I can incorporate. And we've got this a little mech as well. All right, and then I've got some images from, you know, more of what I'm going for, but not quite. So we've got uh, the amp suit from Avatar, obviously. I've just uh, found this YouTube video called uh, Am Avatar Feature at Amp Suit. So this is like some uh, production photos because they actually built like an actual real life suit here. So when they were doing the uh, visual effects and CG, they had an actual actor do this, then just, you know, CG'd everything else in the arms. So sometimes just find clean uh, images like this. So obviously it's not as clean as if it was a 3D model because, you know, the camera's a little bit blurry and there, there's motion and the quality's not the highest, but I'm still getting some good uh, design inspirations here. This is a, a concept art from Avatar 2. And, but I'm getting inspiration for like the frame of the cockpit here and uh, the arms as well. And so I also got some good uh, Winter Art Station and got some good uh, custom model images of the 
amp suit because it, it's a quite a popular model so people would make their own versions of it so i just look at this and i see the parts that i like the parts i don't like i don't like this uh this crotch design because it just looks uh like overly i don't know just don't just don't like the shapes being used here so i i know the things that i want to avoid and the things that i want to keep so mostly i like the cockpit design here but I'm going to make mine a lot more uh, blocky here. And I'm going to have more like, I think, hydraulic pistons being exposed here. But still, this is a good thing to reference in terms of proportions. So even if you don't like something completely, you can still pull things out of there. This is by Vitaly Bulgarov. He's been working with a South Korean company to make an actual... Uh, drivable real life mech suit so i'm just using this for like uh arm basic arm design obviously i think mine will look very different but once again it's just just basic you know basic shapes that i'm getting in here like various ways i can cut pieces out have i exposed uh, in internal components here uh my the leg for my vehicle will not be anywhere near this fancy because i'm making something once again that looks like a, a near future a caterpillar type vehicle but still this is very good in terms of uh, proportion and size and form. So we got a little bit of that as well. All right, guys, those are my references. Thank you for watching and take care.